Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, <laughs> happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys are having a good one. Hope you're getting a beer, a burger, a hot dog, and just being an American because that's pretty cool, right? Going out to the parades and being thankful for the troops and service members, stuff like that. Seeing the police going on, on through there, seeing the firefighters, the uh, first responders, ambulances, stuff like that going through your area. And I know some people hates the cops. I understand. That's fine. It's your opinion. Uh, I am indifferent. I know really good cops and I've seen bad cops on online. Like I've personally never had a bad experience with a police officer. Um, I have had a ticket before. Um, I've never got shot by a police officer and that does happen. That does happen. Okay. That does happen. But I want to talk about the frauditor stuff, right? I want to talk about that. Um, I, I did a Rodney Freedom thing uh, yesterday and, um, you know, <laughs> was calling out Michael Eline. He's a lawyer who um, was a Marine. And I, I respect him for that. You know, he, he went to try to serve our country. And I guess he didn't, I guess he made it through boot camp or something like that and um, ended up getting sent home. Um, that's fine. That's fine. At least you tried. Um, it's like a participation trophy you get in uh, elementary school when you, you don't hit the ball, but you still get a trophy anyways. Uh, at least you tried. Uh, okay, guys, also, this is my opinion. It's my opinion. I'm, I'm using my First Amendment right to uh, talk about this stuff. Okay? So anyways, anyways, you know, I was talking about, like, why would he, as a lawyer slash ex-Marine, simp for somebody that openly harasses, disrespects veterans, as well as wishes bone cancer on kids, has a history of domestic violence. Uh, he's a personal injury attorney. Um, somebody, he's he's talking, helping a guy that has a history of, you know, negligence on the road. Um, a lot of stuff, stalking and uh, selling GHB. And, you know, he can say, oh, I didn't do any of this shit, but the records say otherwise. And I would figure somebody that, uh, has a platform of like being a lawyer would understand that this is going to hurt my business by representing this guy. Now he's not Chili's lawyer. Okay. He's not, he's just a guy. He's a guy. He thinks that Chili is a badass and awesome. He's a great scholar and he's doing freedoms. None of these people are doing your freedoms. Okay. None of them, none of them, none of them. No first amendment auditor on here is doing that. And I'm going to say frauditor again, like I said, you're able to film the police, film the government, all that stuff. Uh, and you're able to call things out. But what these people do, they actually go to a site where, let's just give an example. Uh, there's a crash, uh, DUI. Um, some girl, and we there, well, there's a video I made about it. Um, she was drunk. She was driving and killed two pedestrians. Um, and, you know, they investigate, make her do the uh, DUI shit. I've never been pulled over for DUI. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, she did not understand the gravity of the situation. Uh, she thought it was all funny. She thought it was a game. She was drunk. They took her in, did their cross-investigation with them. Um, you know, they told her repeatedly, hey, you was drunk and you killed two people. This person's laughing and all that stuff. Now, you've seen many cases where a lot of these frauditors, they'll see, like, DUI checkpoints. And they're like, don't, don't take the test. Don't talk to the police. Um... You know, I think that's stupid. I think that's stupid. Why would you want somebody on the road uh, that is uh, physically impaired to run over somebody? Let's, let's, let's say, okay, the frauditor. Um, your kid is in the road, right? You're a frauditor. You have a kid and is in the road. And some drunk person runs your kid over and, yeah. You're going to be pretty mad. You're going to be upset. Now, a lot of these frauditors, what they do is when something is aimed towards them, if somebody turns something around on them, um, they immediately go to daddy government or the police. The police and government, which they do not like, they hate. Um, and they badly represent any type of situation. Um, you know, walking up to a cop and, you know, filming him, that's fine. But walking up to a cop during investigation or anything like that, cops doing their job. One thing, you know, like I said, there's bad cops, but one thing you should do, instead of just harassing the cops, instead of harassing the cops, you should take your grievances up with the government, the state government, the federal government. You know, cops at this point, they're low level. They're low level. They're no different than a nurse or anything like that. Um, they have a gun. 
They, they sign up for a job, which is dangerous. And a lot of them are like, oh, it's not dangerous. I beg to differ. I've watched plenty of videos online where cops are getting shot at. They got hit, got killed. There's cops in my area that's been killed uh, by some jackhole. It's fucking stupid. Really stupid. Uh, and they underrepresent that stuff. And they want the police to go away. Um, they say they're for the rule of law, but you cannot have the rule of law if there's nobody to enforce the rule of law. Um, it's absolutely stupid. Stupid. But, you know, like me, I, I have a First Amendment right. I've approached one of these fraudsters before using my right to protest. Uh, and I was a complete jackal. I turned the page on that person. Uh, and I've done it to other fraud editors um, because it is, and a lot of them, they go to the police. Let's take uh, Kate, Kate uh, Peters from Masshole. Uh, what I do and Team Skeptic, uh, they go after Chili, call him out, Chili sues them. Or in the case when the Memorial Day parade a couple years ago or last year, whatever, uh, Kate was there with Chili and Josh Abrams and Chili went straight to the police and filed a police report. Again, this guy... This guy openly hates the police, but, and says, actually, he says he doesn't trust the police and you shouldn't talk or trust the police. He goes to the police, he files a uh, restraining order thing or whatever, and uh, gets online talking about how he's a badass and now he's suing for somebody that was using their First Amendment right of protesting. Why? Why? Why is it it's rules for me and not for thee? Why is that? Why is it? What rights are you protecting at this point? If you're, if you're a First Amendment auditor, if you're a freedom fighter, you should be protecting everybody's right to protest. You should be protecting everybody's right to have that freedom of speech. Doesn't mean you have to be a complete dickhole. And just when somebody calls you out on it, doesn't mean you have to sue them and cry to the police. The police that you hate. You're a total fucking hypocrite if you do that. And a lot of the fraud are like that. They're, they're all like that. Almost all of them. And when they get put in jail, they cry, they try to get some money. And uh, in this case, we had Michael Eline again. That's the lawyer that was a Marine. And um, he, you know, whatever, he's representing a guy that's blah, 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 blah. You know the shit. I get on his chat. I, I make a post. I was like, hey, why are you, rep you supporting a guy as a veteran, as a Marine, as a lawyer, that openly harasses veterans and service members and wishes bone cancer on kids. And I provided a link. The link got deleted. And the guy, one of the moderators, said, I'm getting trolled. I just reported that guy. I thought as a law protector, a First Amendment law, law protector, you wouldn't remove that. You see this. A lot of these frauders, they don't want anybody else's message to be seen. They want their message to be seen because it's all about clicks. It's not about protection. It's not. It's not. It's it's just a bunch of unemployed assholes that have nothing better to do. They can't get a job anywhere else. They're, you know, have a crime. Like, they've had <laughs> a criminal record that spans like 30 years. They are either on drugs, or domestic violence, pedophiles, stuff like that. And these guys are pretend that protecting you. Why? What, 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 what does that do? And you have the drones that follow them. They're thinking these guys are the Messiah, giving them money left and right. And he's doing a good job. He's fighting for our freedoms. Um, again, again, the veterans, the real veterans, the, the Army, the Marines, the National Guard, Space Force, um, you know, at least they're going, you know, somewhere and fighting for your freedom so you can have those freedoms. Um, yeah, but don't, don't act like you're a fucking badass that's better than a, a veteran when you're not going to go out and sign up for the military or be a policeman and say you're the badass motherfucker vet is completely right on everything. Don't do that. It's hypocrisy. It's stupid. It's wrong. It's wrong. And the bad thing is a lot of these people try to sell you some kind of pamphlet like you can print out if you have Photoshop, just make your own. These people are selling you a piece of paper that has bad representation of the law. And I'm not talking about just Chile because there's a lot of them that do that. Guys, if you're watching this, if you hate me, you should be questioning these people. You should. You should. 
you should be questioning what they're truly fighting for, what they're trying to get out of it. Don't follow them blindly. You're smarter than that. You have a brain to think on your own. I hope so. I hope. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for the scam. You're good people. You're Americans. You have freedom of speech. You have freedom to do all kinds of things. Just ask them. Ask them why. Why are they doing that? And I bet you a lot of them, if you start asking these questions, a lot of these guys are going to stop because they're going to, you're going to find out that the scam is over. The scam is done. It's over. And eventually what's going to happen, and what's seriously going to happen, is somebody's going to take the advice of one of these assholes. They're going to be an extremist. And they're going to get themselves arrested, jailed, or killed. You see a lot of these sovereign citizens going around like, hey, I got the right to travel and all this bullshit. No, you don't. You have the right to go wherever you want, but you have to obey the fucking law. The law does, uh, you, know, you have to abide to that. You, the, the law goes for all of us. It's there. It's there. We should obey the law. That's fine. It's stupid. Whatever. Dislike. Whatever. I love you guys. See you soon.